So over the next few weeks, I'll be diving into some things you can actually do with AI because this is probably the biggest question I get. What can this thing do? And the reality is the sky is kind of the limit. So what I want to do is I'm going to show some things that are, are fairly mundane, some things you can do out of the box, and some things that uh, maybe are, are advantageous once you get this thing integrated into your system. And in this time, I'll just do kind of one thing at a time. And then if you're following me, you can go back and look at old posts uh, as we go through it. So <clears throat> let me start with something very, very, very simple, but also very, very, very powerful, especially if you intend to do a rollout at any point in the future using your data. So one of the biggest problems that we've had before and, and one of the biggest sources of frustration um, is something as mundane as file naming, right? I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but um, you know, you have a file that somebody names it this way, others name it that way. And so what ends up happening is you ultimately come up with an SOP around file naming in order to make sure that you're able to find things easily or dep on, depending on what product management app you're using, you know, maybe you've got some ways to reinforce this. So this is a very simple thing that if you have no sophisticated systems, you can do that is very powerful and also sets you up in the future for being able to leverage your own AI in a, a, a sophisticated way. Um, so here's how I would approach this particular problem, or how we have approached this particular problem. So one of the things that we have to do quite often is name videos and campaigns because we're constantly running um, new videos and new campaigns for testing. When you're building a uh, uh, when you're building a prompt like this, what you want to be able to do is one be really clear with the assistant what you need its help in generating a name for. The second thing you want to do is break down whatever your SOP is. Let's assume you have a current SOP where your naming conventions need to have uh, a company name, or in our case, we've got campaign types, um, target audience, right? Whatever those things are, you want to enumerate the different elements that need to be uh, factored into the naming uh, element of it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to basically provide your AI um, these couple of bullets. And then what the AI will do is then review the data, okay? Make sure it's complete, and if there's anything missing, ask for it. So that way you've got a complete naming, uh, a complete uh, set of bullets to, to create the name. The next thing you're gonna do is review an annotated example. And this is a really important principle for many things you're gonna ask AI to do. If you can give it clear examples on what you're looking for, um, it gets much, much better. And if you save these examples, which you should, you should be saving your prompts. Uh, if you save your prompts, <clears throat> then in the future, you can just uh, you click the prompt or post the prompt in there and every single time it'll understand, oh, I should be approaching it this way. So then you're gonna say, review the annotated example below, which provides a basis for how I should structure my names. Once you have everything you need, do your best to create the name, filling in any gaps as best you can. So then we provide it an example and the example goes all the way through here. And then we say, all right, um, once the information is shared, create a camel cased video names without spaces. So again, we're giving examples on what completed uh, completed work looks like. So if we have a single audience specific location, it should look like this. Multiple audiences global looks like this, right? And what we're doing is we're trying to give it uh, enough degrees of freedom that it can make the decisions without us having to be involved every time, but not so many that we get uh, erratic results. And so when we run this particular prompt let me uh, let me switch to like a different model really quickly and this I don't have to do this I just like this model better so I'm gonna generate a name we've got all of the different prompting here so super web pros this is an awareness type campaign target audience let's call it LinkedIn location is uh, Michigan video type is gonna be an explainer video component, this is the full video, and the gist teaching how to make a naming AI. Submit. And then what the AI is going to do is take all that information following my instructions, and then it gives me back a, uh, a name that makes sense within the context of the naming schema. And we'll put this into a database, which again has access to all of this. We do the same thing with our campaigns. So here's an example of one that's fully automated. We don't use it inside of ChatGPT. We use this inside of our Brainy application. So here we've got an assistant that is tasked with generating campaign names based on a payload of meaningful details. We give it a format with the campaign ID, a brief description, the goals, channel, start date, and status. And then we give it the naming convention. You're gonna, so same exam, same idea. Here's the instructions and here's an example. The format is type, goal, channel, start, date, status. And then 
We give it examples and explanations of each of those. We then tell it to parse it, look at the input, handle the data, now construct the name, and here's an example again to, to, to teach it. We say, okay, if you get this kind of example, then the output should be this kind of a thing. And so what we're doing is we're, is we're showing it an example of what we want so that when we then get into our, into our system, the naming conventions that are named by our AI match the structure that we were expecting based on the feedback that we gave it here. Same thing with our videos. So inside of our system here, we're able to see our naming convention. And so we can very quickly by looking at this, say what account is this for? What was the purpose of this video? Uh, and, the, and the point of, again of this all is that naming things and coming up with a very clear SOP for naming and then turning that into something your your AI can do is a very simple, very easy, very powerful way that you can start leveraging uh, AI to make sure that your files uh, are more organized, especially as your team grows beyond 10, 20, 30, 40 people where everybody might be doing things just a little bit differently and you don't want that.